finding balance, it's something that we all struggle with on a daily basis, finding balance in all avenues of life, like your, your social, your work life, your family, um, but also finding balance for yourselves and your self-care, your diet, your hydration, your exercise, your sleep, all of those things that go into making you a whole healthy person. interesting to note that our bodies are always trying to find balance. Obviously things go wrong and we get sick and things get out of whack, but fundamentally our bodies want balance. They want routine, they give you cues to let you know when you're tired, when you're thirsty, when you're hungry, when you're restless, when you're too hot you sweat to get cooled off. When you're too cold, you shiver to get warmed up. Your body knows these things. It's very instinctual. And I think that when we get out of balance, we lose that. We, we lose that sense of mind-body connection. We're not listening to ourselves. That's why something like pain can seem to come out of nowhere. Your body was telling you, mm, maybe this chair isn't so great for your low back. It sort of knocks quietly at first. This is a little tense. And as the days go on and as you ignore that signal, it grows and grows and grows until one day your back goes into spasm and you can't move for three days. So that's why we want to tune in for maintenance of health and also for prevention of injury and pain. And that's what we're going to do today is to just to explore, play around with balancing things out. I am definitely one to need this journey. I tend to go overboard or give too much um, only to know where the boundary is, where my limits are, and then bring it back. I sort of am a workaholic, um, you know, I take on too much and my body wears down and I have to stop and remember to listen to myself and to listen to what I need to keep myself going and to keep myself enjoying life because what's the point if we're not enjoying while we live it? It's a journey. That's what this is about. It's a journey. There's no end point. We're just going through a journey non-judgmentally and exploring and finding out and learning a bit more. So have a nice comfortable seat. You can be on a chair or on the floor. Feel your sit bones, feel your weight evenly. Spread through. Feel the chair or the floor supporting you back. That balance of energy down and energy coming up from the earth. And just start with some nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Nice and deep into the belly. Long exhale, at least as long as the inhale. In fact, let's count it. In for four. Out for four. Try in for five, inhale, two, three, four, five, slowly empty out, five, four, three, two, one. Let's inhale for six and hold it at the top. So go inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it at the top, four, three, two, one, and exhale it out. Five, four, three, two, one. This is very calming, very centering type breathing. You can go ahead and put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly and start to feel that breath fall in and out. You can close your eyes and just tune in. Tune into what your body is saying. Is your heart beating quickly or slowly? Is your breath seeming a little shallow or maybe it's deepened by now? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling anxious? Just notice, no judgment here. 
Just listen. You're an observer. Do a little body scan. You can relax your hands down. Do a little body scan from head to toe and look for any pockets of tension. Anywhere you feel tight, tense, restricted, and go ahead and send that nice deep breath right into that area. In fact, why don't you put your hands on it if you can. If it's your low back, if it's your chest, if it's your shoulders, just put your hands on there. Take a nice deep breath right into that tension. Breathe in love, energy, healing energy, oxygen, nutrients, and then breathe that tension out on the exhale and feel that area relax. Feel it soften, feel it maybe even sink down a little. And when that's feeling good, go, and go ahead and find a different area, anywhere. Some people have stomach, some people even calves and feet. Just put your hands on, feel your hands, feel the energy and warmth from your hands. Take a nice deep breath in, send it all good things. And on the exhale, let the tension just ride on out and dissipate, disappear into thin air as that area softens and relaxes. And now let's go looking for anxiety. A lot of us hold anxiety in a certain area of our bodies. For me, it's usually my chest. I sort of feel like there's something in the way, a blockage, I can't really breathe, my heart's going a little too fast. Wherever it is for you that you have anxiety, the head, it could be the feet, whatever. Put your hands there. I want you to breathe into that. Give it space, give it room. Exhale and see what that anxiety feels like. Give it some tangible qualities. Is it hard or soft? Is it smooth or bumpy or jagged? If it's a color, is it red? See if you can begin to shift, to change the idea of that anxiety. If it's red, can you turn it into a cooler color like green or blue? If it's jagged, can you smooth it out? If it's cold, can you send it warmth? Can you warm it up? If it's hot, 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 can you cool it down? Is it big? Is it small? Anything you notice about this anxiety, give it those physical traits and then play with shifting the idea, creating balance, so to speak. And once you've played around with it a bit, usually it doesn't feel quite as serious. It doesn't feel quite as debilitating. Once you really look at it objectively and know that you have control over what it feels like, what it looks like, or you can even go with what it smells like or what it sounds like. Play with those and then take another deep breath right into that and just let it all seep out on the exhale. We don't need it now. We're here, present. There's nothing else going on. You're here to take care of you. So let's go ahead and drop our arms and a lot of us have those shoulders up, right? When we're tense, when we're anxious, when we're out of balance, those shoulders want to come up and protect our necks and our heads. 
but we don't really need that. We're not being chased by a wild animal. Our, our anxiety response is the same as it's always been in the first few days of humans, but the things that make us anxious are different. We're not being chased by a tiger. We have a work deadline coming up or our children are driving us crazy, whatever it is. So we don't need to protect physically our faces and chests, right? So I actually want you to go ahead and squeeze those shoulders up, bring them even more up than they already are. Squeeze with all your might. And we're gonna take a deep breath and on the exhale, you're just gonna let them drop. Just go. Okay, so inhale, squeeze them up, squeeze them up, squeeze them to your ears, and exhale, let them drop. And they should feel a little more relaxed, a little looser, a little farther down. Let's do it again. Squeeze them up, hard as you can. Deep breath in. And let them go with the exhale. So nice. Isn't it amazing how it just, gosh, it just really helps everything go, right? And you really get to understand the difference between what tension and relaxation feels like when you play with the two right next to each other, balancing them. So one more time, bring those up mm, as hard as you can. And ready, inhale, exhale. Excellent. You can give them a little roll. Let's warm up our hands. And just place them over your eyes. Sense that heat, energy. Feel that love and warmth from your own hands that do so much every day. And just breathe that in and allow it to relax your head, your face, your neck. Mm. And while we're up here, let's begin a little scalp massage. Always so centering, grounding, relaxing. So picking up that cranial fascia and you can go anywhere on the scalp. Just explore all, all areas and see if you can find any pockets of tension, any tender points, anything like that. Just hang out there, just apply pressure and breathe just like we did at the beginning, breathing out the tension. Breathe in the good, breathe out the bad. See if you can get it to soften, move a little more, and then continue on exploring all parts of the scalp, front, back, sides, top, bottom. And just making circles here. You can do that. You can hold, you can go back and forth, whatever it is that you love, and with as much pressure as feels good to you. A lot of people like a lot of pressure, but you find your sweet spot, the pressure that works best for you. Hmm. You can come take it around the ears. There's a big jaw muscle there. Just going behind and around like this area here. And that should feel really good. Hmm. Deep breaths as you do this. Enjoy that sensation. Try to relax your shoulders and arms down as you do this. Don't let them creep up. Try to keep them tension free, even though they're working. And come over onto the temples and do a nice massage here. Big circles. Find your good pressure and breathe. You can close your eyes. It's so nice, especially if you get headaches or tension up there. And if you have a tight jaw or you tend to grind or clench, especially in your sleep, 
this can be great for that. And then we can continue working on the jaw. Just put your hands on either sides on your cheeks and we're just gonna let them slide down. So let the jaw slacken, let it open <laughs> so that you look super attractive. But don't worry, I'm sure no one's looking at you, only me. So let your jaw slacken and then just let your arms hang down and let gravity take that muscle and lengthen it. This always reminds me of the scream, you know, at painting. <laughs> ah, I should feel really releasing for the jaw. So nice. way down just letting it dangle on a hinge it is a hinge joint all the way to the chin so that is nice and loose go ahead and massage that TMJ temporal mandib mandibular joint right here in front of the ears you do some nice circles there you want to keep this pressure relatively light because it's right on the joint but it does feel good. Keep those top and bottom teeth apart and that jaw relaxed. And let's go ahead and get those tight upper trapezius muscles. So what you'll do is take a kind of pincer grasp, four fingers and the thumb actually, and you'll grab that tissue. You can lift your shoulder up to get a good grip on it. Yeah. And then keep that grip as you slowly, slowly relax the arm down. And then you can just play, you can circle, massage, or you can just hold it right there. It might be super tender, so go easy, listen to your body. Everything should feel good here. You don't want any pain. And if you want to add a little something, a little stretch, a little movement, you can start rotating your head right and left. And you'll feel that tissue move under your fingers. Again, could be pretty intense, so take it real slow. Mine is referring right up into my left temple. So I certainly have something going on there. And when you feel it's released a little bit, you can go to a different area, either down towards the shoulder, up a little towards the neck, just, or you can just massage around and see where you feel it needs some extra love, some extra TLC. Bring that shoulder up, relax it down, hold that grip. And then if you want, you can go ahead with the rotations or just hold it or do circles, whatever it is asking you for. It might have been asking you for this for a long time, but you might not have heard it. Finally, we're going to listen. And just a great big squeeze. Let's get that other side. So you got your grasp. Find a good place you can explore first. And when you've got it, lift the shoulder up, get that grip, relax the shoulder down, keep that grip, and just hold it and breathe. We can start with just that. Oh, this is referring to, <laughs> I guess my upper traps really needed it today. Oh. 
You can do your circles, massaging it out. And of course, if you want to, you can add your rotation. Hmm, feels good. When that's ready, you can go again towards the neck, towards the shoulder, just explore, find another spot. I'm sure you'll find one. <laughs> something tight, something tender, or even something that just feels really good. Like if you just hold it, it's a whole body release right there. Those are the best. So lifting up, give it that squeeze, relax it down, keep your grip, and pick your poison. You can have it um, still, you can do circles, or you can do your rotations. Get creative. And when you're ready, come back center. Give it a nice squeeze with the whole hand, just like you're giving yourself a big old hug. Relax the shoulders, give them a roll, and you're going to lift one arm up, up, up towards the ceiling. Put the other arm down next to you, and slowly, slowly come on over so that I'm reaching up and over in this side bend. Make sure you're not falling in, that you're up, your chest is up, and that you can feel that side of your rib cage open up and make space. Make space between those ribs, those vertebrae, and just take a breath here. It should feel really nice. Seeing if you can get your side to be longer, your arm to reach farther. And on your next exhale, come on out. And of course, this is about finding balance, so we're gonna do the other side and reach up to the ceiling first, and then keep reaching it long, 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 long. Keep that chest open all the way to the other side. Keep that opposite hip down on the floor or the chair. Open up that rib cage. Feel that side lengthen. Feel it breathe and make space. And on your next exhale, you can come on up. And to balance out things further, we're going to do a little spine twist. So you'll put one hand on the opposite knee, the other hand behind you. Sit up straight and tall, as straight as you can make your spine. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale as you rotate the upper body. Now you just want to do the upper body here. I'm not turning my whole self, right? Up and rotate. And as you breathe in again, you grow taller through the spine. And as you exhale, maybe you twist a little farther. Maybe not. And that's okay too. One more inhale, straighten up. And exhale, rotate. Relax those shoulders down. And inhale, and on your exhale, you can come on back. And of course, we need to be balanced. Other side, one hand on the knee, one hand behind. Sit up straight and tall, relax those shoulders down. Big inhale, and exhale, turning the upper body. Ringing out the spine, ringing out the organs giving the whole midsection and back a massage. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, twist farther. 
One more time. And next deep breath in. Exhale and slowly come on out of the twist. And then we're just going to do one of my favorite stretches to just open everything up. So you're going to interlace your fingers and put them behind your head. Now you want to keep your shoulders relaxed here. You want to bring your shoulder blades, your scapula, down and together. So it's as if you're taking your right shoulder blade and you want to put it in your left back pants pocket and your left shoulder blade and you want to put it in your right back pants pocket and squeeze them together. So they're making a V down and together. And you're going to gently do a bit of a chin tuck, bringing the chin towards the spine and press the back of the head into your hands, just gently. Have those elbows out open wide. So shoulder blades back and down, long neck, head, little bit of pressure pressing back into the hands and the elbows open. You'll feel a lovely release through the front of the chest and the back of the neck and even the front of the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath here, it's lovely. And exhale it out. This is a great one to do when you're sitting for a really long period of time, if you're on your computer or just on the couch, to just straighten up and do this to open everything up and get that extension and that long neck. So wonderful. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, let your arms come down, roll your shoulders. Hopefully you're feeling a little more balanced.